Hey everybody. So um, I wanted to go over the uh, detailing of this motor. This is a Williams Brothers uh, 1 12th scale Wasp engine that I'm uh, turning, I'm modifying it to make a Lycoming. We'll have the exhaust collector on the on the front of the engine. Uh, most of the the Wasp typically had it on the rear. But right now I'm doing the uh, <coughs> the uh, ignition wiring the the plugs and the way I do it is um, I drill through the cylinder and you can do this whether you're making your own home built motor or you buy these kits or however you want to do it but this is the easiest way I found to do it you can see these others are already a uh, few cylinders are already done so what I do is I, I uh, first drill out through the cylinder through the center these engines actually had a plug on each side um, and then I drill multiple holes around the, the engine casing at the base of the cylinders uh, two two holes at each uh, corner here and then the way we route this is um, you know we push it through the front oops I just knocked the camera over push it through the front um, run that cable into the hole here to the right the nearest one to the right and to get a proper uh, we want to get a proper look to that cable so you know as if there was a spark plug so we'd come out straight for just a fraction of an inch and then loop under uh, and then it goes back over the top It'll actually go under the oil line here, and then drops back into the um, the hole just to the uh, left side of the cylinder. So we just kind of roughly fi figure that will be good if we cut about here. It goes under the oil line. And I guess let go of the uh, strand there. And then just take the tweezers and plug this into the uh, the hole that I've drilled here on the uh, on the other side of our cylinder. So there's our hole on that side, and there's the one on this side. Here's our plug wire. And you see, this has an advantage over the typical way of doing this, and with the way they il il illustrate it on the plan, it's all little pieces of plastic, and that just ends up being really fragile. Where this, even if you poke or knock this with your finger there's n there's nothing to break off through the cylinder head everything is attached here at the back it's one solid strand it can't it can't break off of the cylinder right so and then you just touch that with a drop of, uh, of the uh, super glue to, to uh, tack it in place there and it and your harness is simple. You just wind that, wind each cylinder through just like I just like I just did, and you have uh, simulated uh, spark plug ignition wiring. All right. So we'll get the wiring on. I've already got the push rods on here. Then I'll mount the. Uh, well, I'll position this so I can mark it. What we'll do is we'll mark a. Uh, a position in, in the center of each of these cylinders the hole has to be drilled at an angle both back and to the side in other words um, when we drill these out we're going to be coming with the drill at this angle which is rough I'm going to have to use a very fine drill begin with just the smallest pilot holes possible and then work up until I get to the diameter of the uh, solder that I'm going to use to simulate the piping that goes from the holes I've drilled in the sides of these cylinders uh, you can't see that but there are these are drilled out so the pipe runs out to the front and then down and into the corresponding holes in the uh, in the exhaust collection ring so that's that's gonna be a challenge and I haven't done that before so it's gonna be a, a challenge but I thought I'd just go over how the uh, how I simulate the uh, the wiring harness and it's the most durable way of doing it that I found. I mean if you all have a better way I'd love to hear it. Share it with me please.
but for me this is this gets the right look and it does it in a most secure way all right later